Light is your number one security tool. It's something you'll use more than any other thing for self-defense, uh, whether it's just the light itself to eliminate the dark or even used as an impact tool to give you a better advantage if you need it. And you can carry a light anywhere. Uh, doesn't matter what your gun laws are, uh, having a good flashlight to me is something I always have in my pocket. Uh, and especially when I go out to restaurants and it's dark and the older I get, the more I need a little bit of assistance with some light when I'm reading the menu. But lights can be used for a myriad of reasons. And guys, if you start carrying a flashlight in your pocket, you'll be hard pressed not to have one. Now this is the Arc Failed and it is a new light from Olight. And ever since this came out, I have been carrying it in my pocket every day. Uh, it's really that flat design, and that's one thing I love. Now, who started the flat design was Surefire, and that's with their Stiletto and their Stiletto Pro, which I have a review right now on the Sensible Prepper channel uh, comparing the two. But Surefire introduced their Wedge, which is also that flat design, and it's one of the things about battery technology that's really allowed flashlights to change the shape uh, with a AA, AAA, or even CR123s. Uh, we're stuck with that cylinder type shape. And while that has been great for decades, uh, it's really great to see this kind of technology coming in and making things just a lot more comfortable in your pocket. And so we're gonna be taking a look directly at the Olight. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of comparison with the other two, but I have a full review coming up where we compare all three. Now, while I say this is my choice, this is my EDC, it may not be for you. You may find some others that are very comparable and that you like better, you have more preferences too, and that's great. Uh, but with the Arc Failed, uh, there are some advantages to this, and we're gonna talk about it, why I choose this one over the other lights. And guys, it's not because you get a 10% discount using Suit Zero Zero with the affiliate link down below in the description. I'm gonna give you some real reasons why this light is in my pocket. Here we have the lineup, of course, the Surefire Stiletto, and this is now the EDC, it's a polymer body, 600 lumens, and then we have the Pro, which is an all aluminum body, up to 1,000 lumens. These are programmable, uh, there's a lot of cool things. These do have tail switches, which I like. And then we have the Wedge. Uh, the Wedge is a little bit different, it's really long, uh, but you have a little switch and you can do 300, and then 1,000 just momentary. And so you got that bright light if you need it, but it doesn't stay constant on. All three of these are rechargeable, but they have recharging ports. And there's a little bit of issue with the charging ports, uh, just because you can get water in there. Uh, with the Arc Failed, uh, you know, it is a thousand lumens, but it starts out low. And we're going to go through the lumens, but I just want to kind of lay this out first. Uh, we are going to be doing a direct comparison, doing beam distance and checking a lot of things. Uh, but that's not the purpose of this video. I just mainly wanted to show you these lights. Well, these start out at about $129, I think, retail, uh, $230. Uh, these are made in the USA. Uh, the Streamlight, which some of their lights are made in the U.S., some are made in China. This one is in China. I think this one retails for $99. Of course, you can find them for less. Uh, the Arc Failed is $99 as well. Uh, it has gone up a little bit, has a lot to do with shipping, things like that, and this is made in China. And the wedge comes in an FDE color. But the Arc Failed comes in a number of different colors. Uh, and this is the original one, and you can see we did a torture test. We'll be showing that in just a few minutes. Uh, I like to do that with all my lights. Uh, I like to test them out because lights are very important for security. Uh, but the anodized finish on these lights are excellent. This is a limited edition orange. It will not be available for long. Uh, and at the time of this video, uh, they're actually on sale. So we do have a number of different colors with the cobalt blue, the green, and the FDE or desert sand, uh, and then the black. Now, traditionally, we've had this cylindrical shape for the flashlights, especially those that were made with aluminum. Uh, and that has to do with everything with the battery shape. Uh, with the new lithium ion batteries, we have different configurations. And so that allows for companies to be able to design flashlights that are flat or different shapes. Uh, this has a 1050 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. It is rechargeable. Uh, this one is also rechargeable, and it's an 18650, or you can put two, two CR123s. And so we've gotten a lot of great performance out of these lights, but we're going into another era. And especially with EDC, you're carrying this in your pocket. Uh, it makes it really easy to carry. It's flat. And again, it's the reason why this is the flashlight that's in my pocket. Now let's go through the lumens of the light. Uh, just press and hold 
and you get your moonlight setting, and this is one lumen. Press and hold, 15. Press and hold, 60 lumens. Press and hold, 300. Double click, and you get 1,000, which is super bright. Uh, and then if you triple click, you get strobe. And so the strobe is at the 1,000 lumens. And so it gives you, you know, a self-defense capability if you like to use strobe. Now, it'll go for eight days on the one lumen setting. And on the highest setting uh, of 1,000 lumens, it'll go for four minutes and then it'll drop down to 300 lumens. Because, you know, LEDs get really hot. And so it just protects the light. Now, the little toggle switch, if you turn it, now we have a green laser. Uh, this is a green pointer. I mean, it's a lot of fun. This also is great if you have a cat or you have a dog that actually follows the laser. I mean, it just is a lot of fun. And so, you know, the laser is just additional, uh, but it doesn't take away from this light. You're still getting a thousand lumens and the laser is just fun. Uh, or you can use it as a pointer if you're in a business meeting or, you know, if you just happen to be somewhere and you're like, Look at that over there, and they're like, where, where? And you just take the laser and you point it. Um, but again, it's just an added feature to this light. I like this toggle switch. I mean, it's really easy to be able to come back and forth, but also your pressure pad is right in the center. So if I want to hit my light, it's really easy to do so. It's easy to find it. You know where the button is. Sometimes with cylindrical lights, you know, you're, you pick it up and you're trying to find where you need to push the button. And so this makes it just much easier to be able to find that button. And your pocket clip is directly behind it, which is this blue anodized finish. Uh, and this is signature for Olight, uh, but it's a stainless steel pocket clip and it's really nice and solid. And it fits in your pocket and it just rides right into the pocket perfectly. I'm telling you guys, I love carrying this light. All right, here we have the arc field, one lumen moonlight setting not really showing much out here we're gonna go up to the 15 lumen setting we're getting a little bit of light go up to the medium setting of 60 lumens then we're going to the high now this is 300 lumens it's got a nice diffuse beam uh, that's about 15 yards out it's not that far this is in the cool white now we're gonna double click and we're at the thousand lumens <laughs> really nice bright light uh, has a real nice spill it's not really a hot spot this is great for getting just an all-around light in a large area now we have the surefire stiletto pro uh, low lumens not all that bright here go to the next setting uh, I mean this is getting some good light out there go to the bright setting of a thousand lumens now it does give a nice kind of hot spot. Uh, it's not real defined, but it's definitely a little bit more of a hot spot and it has a nice wide spill to it. Bringing in the Arkfeld, here we have the cool white and here we have the stiletto, a thousand lumens. It's a different performing light. Uh, with the naked eye, it's not a lot of difference as far as light intensity. But I will say that the stiletto gives you a little more of that hot spot, which can give you a little more detail. So I really like the light on the Surefire Stiletto Pro. But um, the Arkfeld is doing great, and it's less than half the price. But also, we do have the laser. So you can see it out there. It is a really intense laser. Now here at the back, we have a magnetic pad. Uh, and this is for your charger. Uh, you can plug this into any USB. This to me is the best charging system of any light. Because of the magnetic pressure pad in the back, this will go on any surface, this metal that is magnetic, and then you can just turn your light on. It gives you a hands-free option. And if you have a ledge overhanging, you can do it that way, vehicles, different things. So it does give you that different option. Guys, for doing light reviews for well over 10 years, uh, we typically take them out and we torture test them. And you can see this one has been beat up pretty good. And so we took this out and we wanted to do an impact test. And it's a two meter drop impact resistant, but they'll go much farther than that. Put them on concrete. I mean, these are hitting concrete. And so it really allows for you to test that. And then we take it to one of these poles that I have and we just beat the light against the pole. 
and we beat it continually for a while just to see if maybe some side movement might hit it or you know just even straight on all the way around one of the big things though is water resistance and it is an ipx7 and so we put it in the pool and we let it stay in there uh, ipx7 is 30 minutes at two meters of water uh, but it'll go longer than that. We've left lights in there. When I take an Olight out to torture test it, guys, I have full confidence that it's going to pass the test because we have done this over and over. The stiletto has a little rubber boot. You lift it up and you charge your light that way, uh, which, you know, works and a lot of lights have that. With the uh, wedge, you have a little port here at the back. Now, all three of these lights are IPX7, which means you can put them underwater one meter for 30 minutes but one of the problems with these small boots is that water can get up under there and I have had some issues uh, you can go to the surefire stiletto EDC stiletto pro video we just did and I'll have it annotated right here and see the results because we had some problems with this one I have not tested this light yet but that's coming up and we'll be doing a full review on the wedge as well so to me this system regardless of the other two lights I prefer this now, does that mean that you may get a light that may have a little defect? It's possible because this is an electronic piece. But Olight does have a five-year warranty on them. And they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you get it and you just don't like it, you can send it back. Now, one question you also may have is you've got an internal battery. So what if I need to change the battery out? Uh, you know, And that is one thing about lights that have these lithium-ion batteries in them. The battery will be recharged over and over for years. With the technology coming out, these lights are advancing so fast. By the time the battery runs out in this light, uh, you know, there'll be something that'll be much better and greater and longer lasting. Now it's 4.33 inches in length, 0.59 inches in height, and it's 0.98 inches in width. It weighs 3.7 ounces. It's just, again, it's the perfect light to stick in your pocket. Now my i5T Pro, I mean, it's a nice light. It fits down here. It's round, but it's really thin. And so it's very comfortable. And, you know, it's one of those things you don't know what you don't know. Then we have the Surefire Stiletto, same thing. But guys, it's so flat and it fits really nice in your pocket. I mean, it's a great light, but it's 650 lumens. But really easy to pull out, hit that light. Then we have the Arc Failed. Man, that just slips in your pocket. It's flat. There's no rounded uh, shapes coming out against your skin or here. I mean, it's just that, it's that 0.59 inches that just make it really solid. Guys, when you're carrying as much stuff as I do in my pockets with the key bar and my knife, and this is the Olight Drever, which I really like. It's thin, but yet it's just another piece of gear in my pocket. And here on the other side, I keep my Arcfeld and any more comfort that I can get carrying all this gear, the better. Plus my iPhone, my wallet, my concealed carry, gets out of hand. Now additionally with the Olights you do have a cool white or a neutral white option. With this light this is in the neutral white and then we have the cool white right here with this one. And here is designated differently with each of the lights. Now here on the left we have neutral white here on the right we have cool white and it gives it a little more of a yellow color. It's more of a natural color. Uh, with the neutral white it's more of a cold color. You seem to pick up a little more detail, but you get natural color with the neutral white. Okay, now we have a thousand lumens with the neutral white. I'm going to kind of bring in the cool white on this side, and on the right is the neutral white. You're getting just a little better color, but there is that little bit of natural tint to it. With the cool white, honestly, it gives it just a little more detail. Uh, but it's really a brighter light in a sense, but yet the warm or the neutral white comes in. I mean, they're both great lights. It's just according to if you really want to identify color or you want to come in and identify detail. So you got both of these options. So guys, you have a lot of options, a lot of color options. Of course, the uh, orange is a limited edition. So if you're watching this video up front, you may be able to purchase one, but uh, they will sell out fast. Uh, guys, when I did my first review of these, uh, they were out of stock in no time. These are very popular lights, and I understand why, because this is the light I'm carrying, and I will continue to carry this light 
Uh, it's just so easy to, to do. Now, one thing we do with these lights is we give them away on Patreon. So if you're wondering why I have all these lights, uh, we do end up giving those away. And in fact, we have a big event, October 16th, this is for Patreon members only. We're doing a big range day and we'll be giving most of these away. Now, for when it comes to price, these are at retail at $99. And you do get a 10% discount using Suit Zero Zero with the link down below in the description. And guys, for a good quality light that fits in your pocket and just makes life a little bit easier, I just highly recommend these lights. Yes, there are some other great options out there and uh, just gives us a lot of choices. But for me, uh, I'm taking the Olight as my EDC. If that changes, I'll let you know. Guys, flat flashlight technology is here and it's just a great addition to your EDC. It just makes things a lot more comfortable. And whether you go with the Arcfeld from Olight, the Stiletto from Surefire, or the Wedge from Streamlight, and I'm sure that there are others and will be others following. Uh, it just makes things a lot nicer. You know, if you're like me and I'm carrying a lot of items every day, uh, comfort is definitely a priority. And I found that with these type flashlights, it's definitely something that ups my game. But again, while it comes for me out of these three, I mean the Arc Failed by Olight is my choice. And guys, I'll tell you, 1000 lumens, laser, uh, super awesome uh, recharging capabilities. Uh, it's just a great light. But these two are excellent options as well. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. that cylindrical shape which dictates the battery dictates the battery this dictates the battery press and hold 50 no 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 wrong 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 what batteries uh, look like okay guys it's just awesome to see flat flashlight options you can't say that three times fast <laughs> flat flashlight options flash flashlight